Sydney's tragic train smash, how one man cheated death. Neville ran to decriminalise homosexuality and eat from his European holiday and immediately announced plans to decriminalise homosexuality in New South Wales. Legislation to reform existing laws will be introduced in Parliament soon after it resumes on Tuesday. Neville and Jill Rand caught the All Stations plane from Frankfurt, with stops at Rome, Bombay and Melbourne, along the way to the Sydney Airport News Conference some 30 hours later. The Premier's in a reformist mood, especially on the question of homosexual law reform. And it seems to me that uh, we're dodging the issue, and uh, we've got to uh, bring our laws in uh, New South Wales into line uh, with uh, the other states. Other Previous states attempts at decriminalising homosexual activity have been defeated and, uh, in conscience votes. And, uh, if that happens man, this time, that Mr Rand will go to Labor's state conference in June, seeking to have the conscience vote eliminated. The Labor MPs would then have to support party anguish, policy, whether they like it or not. After that marathon 30-hour flight from Europe, the Premier now faces a marathon session of State Cabinet tomorrow. It's expected to meet for the whole day, working at the priority for legislation to go before the Parliament over the next three weeks. Legislation aimed at placing the state's key rainforest areas on the World Heritage List will be close to the top, as will legislation to establish the Darling Harbour Authority, charged with the task of transforming one of Sydney's ugliest areas into the focal point of the 1988 bicentennial celebrations. But for the Rands this morning, it was a case of separate cars. Jill ran on the way home for some sleep, and the Premier off to the office to check the Cabinet agenda. David Jones, 7 National News.